Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Sim City, which is weird to say. I'm going to be honest, it's very difficult to not say welcome back to City Skylines, but alas, welcome back to Sim City 2013. Still weird to think this game's almost 10 years old, especially considering it doesn't look all that bad. It's, it's a pretty good looking game to this day, in my humble opinion. Although I will say, I think the depth of field is doing a lot of the heavy lifting as it tends to do in anything. I think a good bit of depth of field on just about anything makes it look a bit, a bit more professional and a bit fancier. It's like when you turn on portrait mode when taking a selfie, it goes from like a selfie of me and my three or four different chins to a slightly fancy selfie of, of me with like Doritos crumbs on my t-shirt and stuff. Like that. Anyway, enough about me, more about the city. We've got a couple of things we need to address. First and foremost, we are actually making 8,688 simoleons per hour, which is lovely. But I think that's partly because we don't have any services. We don't have any waste disposal, for example, and we have garbage overflowing. So a garbage dump is going to be an essential thing here. And an interesting thing about the garbage dump is you can volunteer extra garbage trucks to neighboring cities. Now, this would apply a lot more if this was a multiplayer SimCity game, in which case I could say to someone I was playing with, hey, I'm going to send some garbage trucks to you. You're going to you're going to pay me for that. And then you don't need to worry about garbage in your city. Alas, I'm not going to be doing that because we don't have that option. I'm just going to go ahead and build a garbage dump up here and it can live right about there. It is gonna sort of block any expansion of my wind power plant, but to be honest, I'm probably gonna have to replace that at some point anyway. We are generating 2.7 megawatts of power. We have 0.9 megawatts excess, and that is only gonna continue to go down as the city expands, but that's kind of to be expected. And much like, my, uh, much like the power going down, my income per hour is gonna go down as well because we still have to build a fire station. So a fire station in this case, I I kind of want it to be like in here, although over here would probably make uh, make a good amount of sense. So I guess I guess let's maybe just go for one of these corners. Maybe we sort of go for like here and that'll be a good little spot. And I'm pretty sure this can be expanded as well. Yeah, it totally can. You can get extra fire station garages on here. And I think every one of these adds another truck. And what's cool is these things can be built anywhere nearby this thing. So that's something we might want to look into. I can get a little sign up there. I can get the flag right, uh, maybe right about there. That's pretty good looking. That's a pretty good looking little fire station right there. What do we got going on? What do you got for me? <laughs> hey, welcome to the fire station. We may not be much, but we can fight those fires. Feel free to expand with new garages or a nice new fire alarm to wake us up when there's a fire. Thanks for thinking about fire safety, Mayor. You know what they say, better safe than smoldering. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure they say that. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> pretty sure that's what they say. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, that checks out. We've also got a large fire station and a progressive office, which if we get a city hall in the region, the uh, progressive office with the progressive office your city buildings will be covered against catastrophes you can insure your buildings and get some money back if you're hit by a disaster adjust your coverage rate to change how much money you receive all right well that's fair enough uh speaking of disasters we did have a couple of buildings burn down over here so we'll go ahead and bulldoze those and we had you burn down as well so we'll go ahead and bulldoze you and nothing else looks like it needs bulldozed which is great so let's move on to healthcare. We can get ourselves a little clinic right here. We can get a hospital when we have a city hall in the region and a department of safety. Now the clinic, to be honest, I mean, I, I kind of feel like it could just go in this little triangle here. So that's what I'm going to do with it. I think it can live here and we can expand it with some extra ambulance bays if we really want to. We can also add extra rooms for Sims on bed rest, which might not be a terrible idea, although we don't have the space for it. So not going to be happening there. Uh, we will add a sign though, and I guess we'll add like two extra ambulances. We can afford it. So that seems fair enough. That's, that's going to be our clinic. So that's a bit of healthcare. And then for policing, 
we have the police station and we have the French police station. I forgot this was a thing. Okay. I kind of want the French police station. I'm not going to lie. It seems, it seems like a great idea. Uh, zippy patrol cars respond to crimes in progress and arrest the criminals after uh, exciting car chases. Police bring arrested criminals to the station to be rehabilitated in jail cells. The police station suppresses crime nearby. Origin, France. Okay. I mean, absolutely. We, we are getting the French police station. And uh, I think right on this corner is 100% where it's going to go. And it even has the little French police cars, which is, which is pretty great. So let's see here. What can we do with this guy? We can get jail cells on the ground floor. Jail cells on the top floor. Oh, yeah. So you can place extra jail cells and then uh stack them basically is uh, is what you can do you can also go ahead and place a bunch of uh, french patrol car lots which honestly i'm gonna do because i can afford to and that'll give us a bunch of extra coverage and we can get ourselves a nice uh sign i guess i don't know if i need more jail cells or not can i put a sign on top of that thing no oh that's unfortunate all right let's get rid of the extra jail cells we don't really need them right now and yeah, that's going to be our police station, which has brought us down to just about 5,000 Somalians per hour. We're down to 15,000 Somalians in total because all this stuff was quite expensive. But we now have coverage, which is great. So we'll speed things up a little bit. We still have a lot of Sims moving in. We've got a lot of moving trucks going around, a lot of buildings coming together. And uh, actually a lot of demand for a low wealth residential, which is kind of surprising. Although I guess, yeah, a lot of these guys need workers. So I think what we'll do is we'll come across the highway and I want to be careful doing this because I do want to get my hands on some of that ore. Now, looking at it, we actually have a pretty good spread of ore around here. I wonder if we should just go across here. Although there is oil on the other side. I guess this space would work. Let's let's just come up in here to start with. We'll turn off the uh, the overlays. And we'll just sort of use uh, use this space as best we possibly can. So we'll do something like this. And I think what we'll do is just go ahead and try to fill this space with a bunch of uh, a bunch of residential. Hopefully that will build up. I don't imagine it's going to be super high wealth. Although you guys are medium wealth. And I suppose we can look at land value. I, th I think. Yeah, land value map. Eh, you are going to be medium wealth. Actually, looking at it, we don't have, <laughs> we don't really have anywhere that's super low wealth right now, which is kind of a problem. <laughs> that's, that's actually not good because we need those low wealth workers. So, um, uh, yeah, we might have to build some low wealth residential across the, uh, across the river there, which I really don't want to do. I could come down here. That is an option. I just really wanted to use this space. Well, I guess this space would make the most sense for ore. And you know what? I'm going to shut up. I'm going to just get building is uh, is what I'm going to do. So let's use these medium density streets or maybe high density streets. I guess high density streets. It's still four lanes, uh, but yeah, that'll that'll be fine. So we'll come down something a bit like this. We'll come down something a bit like this. And we could go further with it, but I think we'll just sort of leave it as is. And that'll be fine. Uh, we can go from, I guess, this spot if it's going to let me snap, which it doesn't seem to want to do. So we'll just go across like this. I don't know how well that's going to behave with uh, with high density buildings, though. I don't remember what size a block needs to be for high density buildings. So I guess we're going to find out together. But something like this works. It's not super fancy, but it'll do the job. And then what I can do is just very simply go ahead and just put a bunch of uh, just a bunch of zoning around here, really. So we'll fill up all these spaces and that will hopefully turn into a bunch of low density, low wealth housing. I mean, some of these guys are going to be medium wealth, these guys in here, but these guys back here should be low wealth. So that'll hopefully help us out quite a bit. And that's hopefully going to get rid of a lot of these complaints about lack of workers. What are you uh, What are you complaining about? Yeah, closed because not enough workers. So that's that's going to be an ongoing issue, basically. We're going to keep running into these issues where there's not enough workers. We're going to have... Uh, are you closed? Are you... I don't know what you're doing. You, this looks miserable. We have a lot of warehouses complaining as well, though. So 
This will hopefully help things. Demand is coming down a little bit. A lot of these guys are sort of moving out and crossing the highway to go to work. And I think we're seeing some of these blips go away. So I, I think in a little bit of time, we'll be okay. We're also hopefully going to see a bunch of these low wealth sims head up to the modern temple, which will be lovely. We'll get that out of the way. And we need the hot air balloon park still. Need 180 sims to visit parks. Let's just remind ourselves what we needed for that, because I actually don't, for the life of me, remember what I need for the hot air balloon. We need a department of tourism, which means I think we need a city hall, which I don't remember how I get a city hall. 5,000 residents. Okay. Yeah, that might take a minute. That, that definitely might take a minute. But I'll tell you what, let's have another look at land value. And I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's doing fine. Let's look at happiness. Could be better in a few places, but that's all right. And then population. I need to see the worker stats again. That's that's kind of what I'm most interested in. That's residential. That's commercial. This is industrial tech. Interesting. I forgot how many overlays this game had. That's, that's kind of wild as well. I'll tell you what. Let's not bother with the overlays. Let's... Uh, what is this? Oh, it's an ambulance. All right. Well, fair enough. Uh, yeah, hopefully this will sort us out. We're at 2,600 sims as well. Still making 8,000 simoleons, which is kind of wild. So we'll tell you what. Let's just expand a little bit further. I don't necessarily know what distance to expand to. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know if it's that one or that one. But I'm going to guess this one. And I think what we'll do is expand back to here. We'll connect these guys together bring some roads straight down and we can put more residential in there which is hopefully going to bring that population up even higher and that's hopefully going to sort out pretty much all of the issues we still have a lot of low wealth residential demand so uh yeah that's that's hopefully going to help i mean it does look like less of these places are complaining the industry isn't complaining at all except for the power plant which is a bit of a problem power plant by the way uh, not doing so good. So let's actually go and modify you. We'll go ahead and put a sign out front for one, because I think that's important. And we could get a large wind turbine if we really wanted to. It's going to generate 5.1 megawatts of power in 10 mile per hour winds. But honestly, I think the small turbine's probably fine. And if we really wanted to, we could probably do a couple of these guys. Which, I mean, how much is it? 5,040 per hour? Yeah, let's do let's do a couple of these guys. Wind power is not going to keep us going forever, but at the very least, that's going to give us a really nice excess of power for the foreseeable future. And that way, hopefully, we're not going to need to go nuclear or solar or anything else for a little while, which is kind of what we're looking for. So that's good. We've also got all of these guys moving in, which is also fantastic. Almost 3000 Sims in our city. What's going on here? Is it getting hot in here or is it just me? Are you on fire? Are you on fire? They will sometimes pop up little things like this when the house starts burning down, but there's no smoke coming out of it. So I think they might just be, it might actually just be them. It might be one of the few cases where the answer to that question is actually, it is just you. Doesn't happen very often. That doesn't happen very often at all, but uh, yeah, that is going to be the case. Now let's go around while we're here and start to upgrade a few of these places into high-density streets. I think that's going to be good for us to get a uh, just a few of them. Nothing too crazy. We don't need too many of them. But at least this way, we can uh, tolerate a little bit more traffic. And we can also get some higher-density buildings. Because something that SimCity 2013 does that I do remember is it sort of limits your building density based on the capacity of the street so a high density street i think i might be talking out of my backside but i'm pretty sure you do need a high density street to get high oh, no downgraded that one to uh get the high density buildings so we'll upgrade those ones i'm not really too worried about getting rid of the um the rest of the dirt roads right now it's not really essential i just want to get uh, a decent chunk of these roads upgraded to uh to high density right there just so the connections to the highway are a little bit more capable of handling traffic 
Speaking of which, we are seeing some traffic back up around these intersections, which is honestly, it's it's going to be something that happens. It's just going to be the way of it. SimCity 2013 doesn't really have a super complicated traffic sim going on, so not really super concerned about that one. Although what I suppose we could do is get a shuttle bus depot. That would definitely be a bit of an option. We also park and ride things. Let's let's get the shuttle bus depot. And this is just the depot, so I can place it kind of anywhere. And I think, honestly, I'll just go ahead and put it. I wish I could put it in there. I can put it here, though, which seems like a, a nice place for it. So we'll put it there. And that gives us a couple of things. It gives us the bus stops. It gives us the park and ride. Now, the park and ride, let's read it here. Municipal and shuttle buses stop here for low and medium wealth sims. Commuters can park in the back before taking the bus. Requires a bus terminal in the region or a shuttle bus depot. So what I'm thinking is a shuttle bus or a park and ride right there would be kind of cool. And a park and ride right there would be kind of cool. I don't know if here actually makes sense because I feel like a park and ride would make more sense in a residential space, but regardless um sure sure we'll go for it we'll, we'll give this a shot we'll see what happens uh i do want to get some bus stops around as well though i don't for the life of me remember how buses really work in sim city i don't know if there's like a super efficient way to uh do anything with buses in sim city but we will figure that out together and we'll sort of just wing it i'm also doing this like it's left hand drive traffic which it absolutely is not so this is going to be, this line's going to be going backwards based on how I'm uh, placing it, but sure, <laughs> that's probably fair enough. Uh, let's see, let's going to stop in here as well. All right, so do I, do I draw lines or do buses just go? I think buses just go to stops, right? I actually don't remember. <laughs> I have no idea. What does this do? What can I modify you with? More shuttle buses. Interesting. I can give you a lot of shuttle buses, actually. Good Lord. All right, they're kind of expensive though, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, I don't for the life of me remember how you do <laughs> how you do buses in this. I don't remember if you do lines or if you just sort of, if the buses just go, I <laughs> actually, oh no, they're just going. All right. Well, fair enough. I mean, we'll see if they get used. I honestly have no idea, uh, but all right. What else we got? Street cars. Oh, I forgot this was a thing as well. So yeah, you can do streetcar avenues, streetcar tracks. That's pretty cool. Uh, trains. Trains would be kind of cool. We need a city hall and a department of transportation, though. But we do have a train connection to this little uh, region that we're building in. So that would be kind of nice to have. Uh, boats need a department of transportation, too. A ferry terminal would be neat. Planes and maglevs. These need the academy. And I need to research the maglev station. Now, the academy if I remember right, is this guy. Yeah. Research advanced technology and transmit the control net needed for it to function. Staff with wealthy workers to research faster and transmit more control nets. This will give us green technology, clean power, and the maglev. And we connect tech to control net. It will raise high wealth, high wealth land value, increase the tech level of nearby industrial buildings. And that's, that's kind of cool, I guess. But we also have this guy, the Omega Co. Factory. Omega Co. wants to help you make a fortune. Manufacture Omega from crude oil and raw ore. Amass piles of simoleons as you convert factories and shops in your city and region into franchises. Yeah, so basically, if I build this and I have a bunch of Omega influence, I can turn places into franchises, which will then generate extra money. Which is pretty cool, but also kind of unnecessary because we just really don't need to. Although I realize what we can do, because we have got over 5,000 sims now, is upgrade like this to a city hall, which is pretty cool. So that's not bad. And then we can get things like the Department of Education, the Department of Finance, the Department of Safety. I kind of want the Department of Transportation. I'm going to be honest. I, I do I do kind of want the Department of Transportation so I can get trains in here. So let's get you. And then to get anything else, we need to upgrade again, which means we're going to need, what, 15,000 residents. Good Lord. Okay. That's going to take a little while, but we can 
now go in and get things like trains, boats, and planes. So this is a passenger train station. It costs 40,000 Somalians. And plot this station along rail tracks to service trains from the region. Passenger trains bring commuters and shoppers from cities connected by train, plus low and medium wealth tourists from the region. And then this is the German high-speed rail station. Uh, Willkommen. I, I'm not even going to try. Plot this station. <laughs> anyway, uh, th this is what I want. But it has to be put on the track. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. That's that's really unfortunate. I don't want to. I mean, I guess I can put it there. I guess I don't know how I feel about that, though. Like, is it expandable? I guess we'd find out. I, I mean, yeah, I guess I guess that's what we'll do. Also, you can see there uh, cities throughout 2022 LP. Is it, it hasn't renamed my region to that, has it? It has. My region name is 2022-LP1 because that was the save file for the first episode. So it's a 2022 Let's Play Episode 1 save. For some reason, it's called my region that. Emerald Valley. Thank you very much. Let's get that back to how it's supposed to be. That's... <laughs> All right, a little behind the scenes for you there. Also do similar with all of my uh, my file names. The video file will be S, for this episode, it'll be SC-2-V, SimCity Episode 2 video. And then the voiceover is SC-2-VO for voiceover. I should do just dash C for commentary, but regardless, I've done it that way for years. Uh, let's, let's get the German train station because we can. This one's also kind of weird looking. Let's do, yeah, let's just do this. And it has a road connection. That's odd. Can I modify you? Oh, I can just give you a. I can give you a sign. Okay. Well, that's that's pretty cool. Can I connect these roads together? Is that no? Too close. All right. I'm gonna have to bulldoze. Oh my god! I don't want to bulldoze you. Oh, I don't even get the money back for it. Also, gonna have to bulldoze you guys. Let's let's do that and get them out of there. Let's bulldoze you. I don't know if I need to bulldoze abandoned buildings. I'm pretty sure I don't actually need to bulldoze abandoned buildings. I think it's just ruined buildings that I need to bulldoze, but regardless, it's it's fine. It's okay. Uh, now what's... Oh, yeah, this space has always been kind of empty. That's fine. Where's our demand right now? Medium wealth residential is a big one. I'm really not too interested in that. To be honest, what I, I kind of do want to do is is get to the other side of this river road grade too steep interesting can i do here no i don't remember how to build bridges i'm gonna be honest with you i do oh wait m to raise road n to lower road so if i do is that no that's not a bridge how do you build bridges in this game <laughs> can i do this oh they have to oh it has to be really far back okay all right, well, that's going to complicate things ever so slightly. Um, hmm. I guess I can get a bridge back here. That's a place for it. So that's that's going to be one. And then the other bridge can go up sort of across here. I guess that's how we're going to have to do it. All right. Well, that's fine. Um, What's what's this flashing at me for? I've upgraded you already. Let's let's get that train station again, because I do I do want it and figure out how I'm going to connect it to everything. So can I do, can I do that and then this? Yeah. I mean, it's a bit nasty looking. I'll be honest with you. It's not great, but it'll do. Also, this is, I'm pretty sure, a high wealth building or a high density building. That's why it's got like scaffolding and stuff around it. So that's telling me that I should upgrade some more of these roads. So let's upgrade you to medium density and upgrade a bunch of you guys to medium density. And we'll see what happens there. We'll upgrade these guys to low density. This guy probably to low density as well. And I'm not too sure we're going to see much change, but this this is cool. This is nice to have. It's it's definitely a nice little addition to the space. And I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's actually go ahead and I suppose go like this. Let me go like this and go like oh man, can I get this to go straight off of there? I can. So that's fine. I think that's where the bridges are going to be. So I think we're going to go like this for the bridges, which is kind of ridiculous looking. I'll be honest with you. It is. <laughs> it's it's pretty silly looking. 
uh, as far as bridges go. Can I go like, can I do a tunnel? No, no, I can't. Okay. Yeah, it's, um, it's not a great look, I'll be honest, but uh, I do think we need the connection over there. So we'll get that going. And then what we'll do, I guess, can I go straight across here? No. All right. Oh, it's because it's trying to build a bridge. Okay. Well, let's not bother with that. Let's just go like this. All right, so that's going to be two bridges, and I'm pretty sure we can probably uh, connect those, something like this. So now we have a road that goes around the entire edge of the map, which is, eh, it's, it's a thing. It's a thing that exists. But the reason I'm doing that is because I'm really, really tempted to get my hands on some ore mining stuff. So we could do ore mining down here. We have got a pretty good space for it. It's not as good as this space, but this is good enough. And then if we wanted, we could do an oil well over here as well, which I I kind of want to do. I'm going to be honest. I, I do kind of want to do that. Also, do we have a bunch of, yeah, a bunch of abandoned buildings because high taxes? Oh, all right. Bring those down to like 11% then. Fair enough. What are you complaining about? Lots of health issues. There are many sick or injured sims. You may need to expand your health system to handle them all. That makes sense. We could probably use a bit of health care down at this lower end of things. So let's build you right there. And that'll give us a bit more health coverage for this space. Also some traffic problems, which is wild, actually. I did say the game doesn't have much of a traffic sim going on under the hood. I might have been wrong. There's definitely, definitely a chance that I might have been wrong on that, but uh, not 100% sure. I am also curious, though. Can I build a bridge over here? Is that a thing? Oh! It is! I mean, it's got a bit of a droop in the middle. It's a little bit droopy. But you know what? We we embrace the droop, right? Every bri every, Everyone's bridge is dr different, and mine has a bit of a... Bit of a droop in the middle of it. That's fine. It's weird looking. I kind of, I kind of like. It. I kind of like the droop. It's, <laughs> that's fair enough. That's pretty cool. All right. I forgot that was. Can I build a tunnel instead? Is that a thing I can do? Can I like? No. I can sink it. Oh, I can sink it. Does that mean I could technically? Can I get rid of that road? So could I? Oh man, I might be about to regret this, but I'm gonna try something. I'm going to try something because it's kind of funny and kind of silly. I'm going to take that back. And I'm going to take you out of there. And what I'm going to do is put that road back in there. And I'm going to droop it down like that. And I want to see. Can I have this guy just go over the top of it? Well, not about there. But let's see. If I take those bits out and then I try that again. Can I have it go over the top? I actually. Oh, my God. <laughs> That looks terrible. <laughs> That's awful. Oh my god. No. That is dreadful looking. Oh man. What is that? Is that in the no better? That's actually worse. Oh, this game. <laughs> this game was not really uh <laughs> it was not designed for this kind of nonsense, was it? It really, really wasn't. Good lord. Oh god, it's that is that is terrible. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. I wish I could do this. I'd be really nice if I could do that, but um sure, let's take those sections of road out. Let's just connect these guys back together. And honestly, just run that straight across there. That'll be fine. That's 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 totally fine. I was I was hoping I could get away with it, but apparently I can't. Alright, so demand wise. Medium wealth residential, a little bit for industry, a little bit for low wealth commercial. That's not too bad. I guess we could use some of this space up here for uh, for some commercial. And we'll use this space as well. And I think that'll be all right. Uh, for the industry, I suppose we can go kind of in here and get those little spaces going too. And that'll keep us pretty good. And uh, hopefully we can eventually deal with all these issues of, you know, not enough workers, not enough this, not enough that. Because I think that is the thing. High taxes was the complaint for a lot of these guys. No shoppers was the complaint for a lot of them as well. So, I mean, hopefully now that the taxes are lower, they'll stop complaining. Right? That's, that's kind of the goal. Also, 
180 sims visiting parks? Did I... I don't... I, I keep looking at this and I keep forgetting. What do I need for you? Department of Tourism. Okay, so a Department of Tourism is going to need 15,000 residents in here, which... Uh, that's that's going to take a minute. Is what that's going to do. Uh, it's definitely going to take a minute. Although, actually, it might not. There's a chance that it might not. Let me get uh, let me get some fire coverage down here. So some fire coverage right about there. We don't need to go crazy with this thing, although I would like to go ahead and get the sign. Oh, I kind of want the bell on it as well. I want the bell there. I kind of want to get the extra garage. I kind of want to put the sign in the garage. And I want to put the flag, say, there. So that's going to be our fire coverage for the region. And then we can do the French police station, because of course we're doing the French police station. Actually, we have got Maxis Manor, which will gives, gives us a Maxis Man, who trains his body and mind to defeat Dr. Vu uh, when he's not responding to crime, fire, or injury emergencies. Interesting. So we could get a superhero. We have Vu Tower as well. Consumer shop at Vu Tower for the the ubiquitous Vutec gadgets while Dr. Vu does business with local high-tech companies. A constant stream of ordinary residents are converted into criminals to serve. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You know, suddenly I kind of just want to go for a police station. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I think we're just going to go for a regular old police station here. That seems like the one that would, uh, that seems like it would make a bit of sense, to be honest. So yeah, let's just do a police station. And uh, we'll go ahead and I don't know if we'll bother upgrading this guy. We'll get him a sign. Sign seems like a pretty good bet. Nice uh, nice flag right there in the corner. And we could get a couple more patrol cars out back. We can also get uh, some extra extra cells on the side of this too. As well as cells on top of it if we really want to as well. But no, that'll do for now. So that's going to be emergency services coverage in this district. Which should... Oh, it's leading to them upgrading their value. That is not what I wanted them to do at all. I don't want them to upgrade land value. I want them to upgrade density. But for the life of me, I don't remember how to get them to upgrade density. <laughs> I've, I've genuinely forgotten how to get them to upgrade certain things. And I also realize we don't have education. We have no schools, which rate... Oh, these raise medium wealth land value. I don't want medium wealth land value to be raised. I just wanted a school. Oh, man. <laughs> That sucks. I don't want them to be rich. That's that's not what I'm going for here. That's not that's not the plan. Ah, oh boy. Okay. I'll tell you what we'll do then. We'll put a school right about here, since the land value in that space is pretty good already. So that'll be good for us. We can also do school bus stops. So we'll do um, we'll do a school bus stop there, 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 there there and there that'll be good for those guys uh these guys can have some school bus stops too just the entire way sort of up and around there which means everybody should get uh, some coverage and hopefully no one upgrades we don't want anyone upgrading their 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 wealth levels here i just kind of want them upgrading their their uh, their buildings that's that's what i'm looking for is just building upgrades although i wonder if they need to be on avenues that's that's what i'm wondering this narrow four-lane road supports high-density zones with traffic lights at intersections. It supports high-density zones, but cannot be upgraded further. High-density avenue. I wonder if the... I wonder if it's an avenue that we need. I don't, for the life of me, remember if it's avenues that we need for tall buildings and whatnot, but... Uh, yeah, I, I actually genuinely don't remember. Uh, let's upgrade this guy to high density since it leads all the way to City Hall right there. And we'll see what happens. We could upgrade these guys to medium density, I suppose, since we're here. And again, we'll kind of see what happens. See if any upgrades happen to occur. Although I just, I just don't remember. And honestly, I mean, you know... The whole point of coming back to this game is to explore and and relearn and all that. So I'm not really too worried that I don't remember how to do this. Uh, I think what we'll do, 
just to experiment, honestly, is um, I'm going to get rid of two sections of road right there. And I'm just going to replace it with a high density avenue. All right, so we'll just do that. We'll get rid of you, get rid of you, replace it with a high density avenue. And we'll just put some uh, put some residential zoning on it. And we'll see what happens. We'll see if it turns into taller buildings or smaller buildings or whatever. I mean, these guys are not building on it at all. So who knows, really? Again, not the end of the world. Not really a huge deal. I'm just kind of curious and we'll figure it out together. But we aren't going to be figuring it out today because that's going to do us for today's episode, I think. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. We got education in here. We got the emergency services in here. And apparently we've just had the first set of townhouses coming together. So maybe, ah, increase building density. Yeah, we will actually read this tutorial very quickly. Increasing the density of your city buildings is important to growing your population. Denser buildings support more Sims, whether as residents or workers. Uh, so the building density map shows the density of the buildings in your city. Open the building density map. So this one. All right. The bars on each building in this view show the building's expansion progress. Buildings ready to expand will have a green bar. All right. Buildings won't be able to expand their density if the roads they are built along cannot support it. Different streets support the three building densities, but with four or six lanes, the wider avenues support more traffic. You can upgrade roads after drawing them, but you cannot upgrade streets to avenues. Interesting. Be sure to use the right roads to provide room for growth. If you want skyscrapers, you need high density. Okay, so this is actually not needed at all. We don't, we don't need the avenues. We just need the high density roads. So that's fine. So density will, will happen with time, basically, is, is what that says. And I mean, this is a set of townhouses. This is our first apartment looking building. So that's pretty cool, actually. That's, that's pretty cool. There we, oh, that looks great. That actually looks great. Okay, yeah. We're going to leave it there for today. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. It's been an absolute pleasure, as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Well, bye.